Right, today we'll be trying to uh, demonstrate going from Bench and Cadence Allegro 6.3. I purposely put some errors here so I can show you how to do some debug if you have some of our comp problems. Our first step is going to load the file. So we'll just select our demo for today. And you'll notice that it brings up a picture of a printed shipboard. Now we need to go over and select Cadence Allegro. Since I'm using version 16.3, you want to have the radio open in 16, not pre-16, and you say export. And the first thing you're going to find is we give you a list of issues we found, along with some instructions and a link to where you can find more information. You'll also find on your screen the Lego tried to fire off and run. And of course it can't if you don't have to grow load on your machine. This is the first error I put in place on purpose. Normally, I would expect when you hit that button for it to load Allegro and to export the whole design. Obviously, it can't do that if you don't have Allegro installed. So I'm just going to shut off. I'm going to close the window here. And I'm going to bring over a VMware, which represents another machine. And you'll notice that we have a timestamp here that's within seconds of when we uh, started this. I'll go into that directory. This is the path where it stores files. And I'm going to look at the batch file. And the reason I am is the batch file is designed to work from the directory that the ultra librarian is installed in. In this case, the E drive and this path. If you move these files to a different location or execute them off a different machine, you may have to edit these two lines to work with your machine. It just happens the way we're set up that our VMs look at that same location uh, as the E drive, so I don't have to make any modifications. I'm just going to start the uh, batch file up. What you should see is uh, starting, we're going to make any custom shapes or flashes that you need in your design. It's going to automatically create those for you, save them so you don't have to draw them, and then it will start making pad stacks for you. Once all the pad stacks are built, it's going to go through and build footprints. Once the footprints are built, it's going to go through a net list and a placement file and so forth. We're going to see what happens. Now, the other thing you're going to see is that uh, it's going to tell you that there's a compatibility problem with the current version of the board file. It could be the drawing file for your parts. And once you save this file, it will no longer be usable in an older version. Now, obviously, I don't know what version of the software you're using. So without knowing that, I cannot properly um, predict which file format you need in our uh, setup. What I would recommend that you do uh, before you run this uh, in your installation directory, board, in, uh, CAD info board, under Allegro 15, you'll notice I have a blank board and a blank drawing file that are saved in my current format. Uh, actually, they're saved in a very old format, I think the 52 format. You might want to go in and reset those with the format that you're using to keep these scripts working fine. But in case that you haven't done it, you should be able to say yes to this message and it will continue to run. Now you see it sitting and building symbols. We don't see a whole lot on the screen, but it is actually building them. Um, it's for key boundaries, placement boundaries, and so forth. I'm going to have to sit here and say yes for each one of these because every time it finishes a symbol or a footprint, it's going to need permission to load an old file. That's why I will save those before I start. And again, all you have to do is load those files and save them with your tool, and you won't have this issue. Notice all the drawing that it's doing. You'd have to do all this by hand if you were um, if you were creating this manually. As you see these these picks and so forth going on the screen, it's all manual labor that we've just recorded and automatically done for you. Alright, now we're loading the net list. We're setting up the placement. And you can see we're starting to throw V's down on the board. In a minute you'll see a board outline drawn. And 
and you'll start seeing the polygons for the top layer go up. When it's done, it'll close Allegro automatically. You'll have to load Allegro back up in order to be able to uh, see what we've created. If you have problems, there will be journal files, JRL files, in the directory that you execute the batch file in or where you saved your board, um, either one. You'll need to go in there, copy the input file that you used to start this process, as well as the JRL files and send them to me. You may find by, by looking at your JRL JRL files, what the culprit is, and fix it yourself. But um, certainly we need that file in order to do debug with this kind of tool. Alright, so you saw the process. Um, there are written instructions and a path in the README that you can use to look at the, uh, to look at the uh, directions on how to do this. It should reside here in a README document. So there's where my, my parts or my files by default were sent. This is where you can get additional information. Um, and like I said, if you have problems, feel free to contact tech support at, uh, I believe it's tech support at accelerated-designs.com.